Welcome back everyone to the Arkham Horror Ins Our Conspiracy playthrough. This is the second scenario, the vanishing of Elena Harper. So we've uncovered our memories. We've viewed Agent Dawson, we've tracked down the missing Agent Harper. And we're actually in the town of Innsmouth now. Now this is like a glorified game of Coludo. At the start of the game, you get a bunch of suspects and hideouts, possible kidnappers, possible locations, Agent Harper is. You take two randomly, one suspect, one hideout, place it face down under this reference card. Get the rest together, that's a Leeds deck. Um, and basically, you have to guess in the round who's under this card, which suspect, which hideout. This card helps you because the more leads you pull, the more you narrow it down, it's personal elimination. You get to guess who it is. Um, so if you look at the at card, it reads the next morning, you and Agent Dawson split up and search the missing agents. So you can spend X clues as a group parlay, reveal the top X cards of the least deck, max on a three and draw one. Shuffle the rest back into the least deck, top card and counter deck. So you can answer three clues, look at the top three cards, or as much as you want to spend. Uh, draw one, it could be a hideout, it could be a, a, a suspect kidnapper. Um, place it down, which narrows down your choice on here, but also puts a cut card and counter deck into the lead deck, so the more time you take, the better it is for you, but the more encounter cards you have in there, where some models deck up, makes it full of false leads, basically. So it's kind of like Cluedo. Uh, the agenda reads, it's a short quote from the Sheriff of Innsmouth, H.P. Lovecraft story. Uh, it reads, Furtiveness and secretiveness seemed universal as hush city of alienage and death, and I could not escape this sensation of being watched from ambush on every hand by sly staring eyes that never shut. Defeat us by enemy, other than the kidnap it, to control each clue in that enemy. Recording your campaign log, the enemy is out for blood. So we have a bunch of locations here. We have a little bookshop, the First National Grocery, the Gilman House, Insar Square, Marsh Refinery, Fish Street Bridge, Insar Harbour. We start in Insar Square, so I can resign here, or I can spend some resources, move to a connecting Insar location, which is going to be really handy. Got one clue on there. Um, we're using Trish Scarborough. I've upgraded the deck a little bit, use the XP, I've got a few better cards, like the Bear Magnifying Glass card and the Leo D. Lucra, the guy goes extra turn. So she has great um, intellect stats, great agility stats. Uh, I discover one more clue location of an enemy, I can discover a distro clue, or evade that enemy automatically, which is really handy. If I draw the blue chaos token, I can get plus two, and if it's investigation, you may choose any real location, you now have to get the location, if you you there instead. Which is eight health, six sanity, and let's get to it. It's also got a really cool new Couture Dice Pack. Whee! So I'm even more in the zone now. So let's draw a starting card of five cards. Let's start looking through and guessing who it's going to be. So this is like, it's completely different to the first scenario. Like I say, it's like a glorified game of Coludo. So let's see, four, five. Okay, that's a pretty good starting hand, actually. Dr. Milan is a great card. Plus one intellect. Great investigating gains resources. Oops, sorry, I couldn't see that. Um... Leo Di Luca is an asset and so an ally. He gives you extra turn, extra action per turn, sorry, which is really good. Working Hunch, play during your turn, to cover a clue, so fast. Backstab, use agility instead of strength, deal two damage. Magnifying Glass, upgraded version, um, has fast, gain plus investigating. If I know close to your location, I can return it to my hand if I want to, which is pretty handy. Um, so let's go. Let's get to it. So, first of all, I think I'm just going to spend five resources. No, I'm not. I'm going to spend four resources to gain to play Dr. Milan for extra willpower. We're also going to play Magnifying Glass because it costs zero. So, straight away, we've got a base stat of six um, intellect. So, they should be face down, my bad. Um, so, we're going to investigate. Zero. More than enough. Gain of a resource because of a uh, Dr. Milan. We're going to use a free trigger to draw a top card, hence pen the clue. Draw a top card of Lee's deck. And we have. Oh, should be the wrong way around. Robert Friendly. So he's a humanoid, has a loof, and it does have harbor one clue on him. So a loof means they don't engage you unless an effect causes them to. Contest two, agility parlay. If I fail, take a damage to succeed. Take one of the clues and to virtual display. So he goes there. So now I know, according to this, that the two cards there, one is not going to be, see there, Robert Friendly. He's gone off that list, so I can narrow down what I have. 
like I say, it's a bit like Cluedo. So he goes there with one clue on him. Uh, no enemies, so draw a card. Flashlight's going to be really handy. Resource, do on the agenda. Drop card encounter deck. Innsmouth look, some guy put on makeup in the, in the mirror. Innsmouth threat area, get minus one to intellect and minus one sanity. I can test three and discard it. Well, I've only got a base stat of two, so I've got no chance of doing that. So I've only got a stat of five now, but I can wait a bit to discard that. That's annoying. I've also got the in the deep one trait. So technically, I'm like a deep one. Okay. That's pretty cool, I suppose. So I'm a deep one now. Okay, so we're going to need more clues. So we'll go to the Marsh Refinery. So this has one shroud, one clue, two actions. See the little arrow there. Spend two actions to draw four cards once per game. We're going to put a clue on this. We're going to investigate. I've got more than enough. It's only one shroud. Uh, plus, I'm oh, sorry, I can't see that. Plus one. Take control of that. So I've moved. I investigated. I can't do that because it's going to cost two actions. We're going to move down to the Fish Street Bridge. So this has Shabayu 2, one clue, spend two actions to get four resources. So I'm going to move here, put a clue on this. We're going to spend a clue to do a top card. Oh, sorry, I should have put over I should have put an encounter card in the Lee's deck at the end. My bad. Just shuffle that up. There we go. Draw one of these. Okay, Barnabas Marsh. So he's at the Marsh Refinery. He's got a loof, a clue on him. Same again, test two, but test two willpower to parlay. If I fail, take one horror. If I succeed, take the clue and put him into victory display. Fair enough. Um, so that's the end of our turn. They have a loof, so they don't engage, they don't follow us, so we're pretty safe. Draw a card, hide muscle, gives us plus one. Uh, Strength and the upkeep phase, pay on resources, discard higher muscle. So that's gonna be handy later on if we really need to stop fighting way out of things. One do on the agenda as a threshold of six, so we're fine for now. Top on the cattle deck is gonna be Fog over Innsmouth. Test three, if you succeed, you would take one horror or put it into playing this agenda deck. If you fail, do both. Education gets plus one shroud. At the end of the round, discard this on play. Okay, so let's test three. I've got no way of increasing the stats, so. I'm probably going to fail this. Let's find out. Come on. Oh, failed. So I've got to take one horror and put it into play. Each location is plus one shroud. That's annoying. Okay, we can handle that there. We're okay with that. So we'll go for this. We'll investigate here again. So, sorry, I should have put top card and counter deck into there as well. Because of that, yeah. See, the more you invest, the more you do this with Lee's deck, the more tricky it gets, and the more enemies you might pull out of it or treachery cards. So, you kind of want to keep doing this, but at the same time, you've got to be careful. But that's why spending more clues is handy because you spend three clues, you can look at top three, pick a suspect, and put it into play. So, early on, you don't do it. Early on, just use one clue. The first few turns, use one clue per turn. Eventually, you have to use more than one clue to uh, figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so that was the end of the round, so my go. So we're going to investigate here. It's plus one shroud, but we've got plenty of here. That's okay, minus one, all enough. Gained a clue and a resource. Can we play anything handy? I might play the flashlight just in case because it's a really useful card to have from the core set. Has three charges, gets a location, minus two shroud investigation. So I've investigated. I'm going to move now to the harbour. So this has forced. I think investigate the harbour successfully by three or more. Talk about the Lee's deck and shuffle the Lee's deck. Okay, so we'll put that there. Two on there. So you might think what's the point in that? What's the point in just looking at the top card of the Lee's deck? Why do you want to do that? But I suppose doing that, you can note down what's there and what you don't need in the the real suspect, in the real hideout. Okay, so we've played that. We've moved. I'm going to parlay this guy here because I've got plenty of stats on that. I've got four for the year. The evade, zero, plenty. So 
not only have we taken the clue, we've also put him on the vector display out of the way. I'll put him over here out of the way so now he's gone. There we go. We're going to spend a clue. Top of our leads deck again. It's going to be a Thera Gilman. She's a painter. Points play the Gilman house with one clue. Aloof. Spend three resources to parlay. Take one control of her. Okay, so she's a bit easier. Which costs resources. I mean, you could if you wanted to. You could engage these if you want to optionally engage them and fight them. It's up to you, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you really want to do that. It's up to you entirely. Um, put a top card and counter deck in there. Shuffle it up. Um, so I moved, parlayed. I'm gonna investigate. One more clue, and then I'm gonna call it, and then I'm gonna do the effect again. So we have, ooh, got the green symbol. What's that? Minus two. No, it's fine. It's plenty. Got that. Also get a resource because Doctor Milan Christopher gives you a resource for it successfully. Send a clue. Got quite a lead there again. Don't be so crappy. Okay, we've got one of the hideouts, the Sherwood Slums. Drawing to play, has a shroud of five, one clue, gets minus two shroud for each doom on it. After you fail a skill test while investigating, place one doom on it. Like down there out the way. So now, I'm, so now I know, under that Agent Harper card, she's not going to be at Sherwood Slums, uh, it's not going to be Bonobus Marsh, Athera Gilman, or Robert Friendly. So I'm narrowing down the suspects, options, place one card in there. There we go, I'll shuffle up. Okay, I can even do it once more, I suppose. I've got one more clue. We'll try, we'll try a look again. Come on. Don't be not bad. Off I go for that. Sawbone Alley. So this has two shroud, two clues. Each human enemy at Sawbone Alley gets plus two fights, minus two evade. Okay, that's not too bad. Plenty of clues there. And that'll be I will go officially over. There's no enemies in play, so draw a card. Gain a resource. Uh, Cryptograph Cypher is one of the newer cards. It uses three secrets. I can spend a secret, investigate, get plus, like, plus one shroud. Or I can spend investigate and get a minus two shroud for investigation. I don't know why you want to get more shroud. I'm not sure what the point of that is, but there must be some reason for that. Okay. Doom on the agenda. Talk on the counter deck. Obscuring, that should be gone. Obscuring fog. Attached to the location. It gets plus two shroud. After you investigate, discard it. Okay, that's pretty high now. It's on five shroud. Okay. I will go. So we need just a few more. I think I need a few more locations. I've got one, two, three suspects. I need in two locations. I need a few more. A few more will be okay. Okay, so we are going to move. Let's go here. Let's go there. And then let's spend two resources and go to Sawbone Alley for some more clues. That'll be our turn over, but let's look and do. Draw a card, cat burglar, and it gives me extra evade. Good little asset, gain a resource. Do on the agenda. Top card the encounter deck is going to be Initiative Dagon. This is a humanoid cultist enemy. Any up to location. When he has no do on it, gets plus two fight, might plus two evade. End the round if he has, if it's ready, and they'll do on it, place on do on it. So be careful of do on enemies because it has doomed to the agenda. So if I had doom on this, I'd have five in total, so be careful of that. So leave him there for a second. We're going to leave him there, then we're going to fight him because, I can't, because currently he has four fights and four evade, which is way too high for me. Uh, so we're going to investigate this location, I think. Should be easy enough. Minus one. Easy. Getting a resource. We'll go again. That symbol, two, two, yeah, that's easy enough, sorted. And a resource, so we've got five. I'm going to spend all five resources to play Leo De Luca. This guy gives you an extra turn, basically, extra action during your turn. It's also a handy little asset. So we're going to use our last turn, last action, sorry, to move somewhere. We'll go to the Gilman house. Let's go here. This has two shroud, one clue. I can heal two damage and two horror combination once per game. So we are there. 
So we're going to use our ability again to top card Lee's deck. House on Water Street, reminds me of the House on Nebo Street from it. Uh, investigate the house by three or more, top card look out on deck, or shuffle that card into Lee's deck. One shroud, two uh, clues. Put that up there. We're going to top card Lee's deck, out on deck into Lee's deck. I'm going to do it again. In our jail. <laughs> Get a look at these. When I first played this, I kept getting the encounter cards, so it's pretty lucky. Um, defeat enemy at the jail. I start calling that enemy, shuffle it into Lee's deck. So I don't want to do that. That's going to really slow me down. Put it over here in the corner. So I'll put it there so you can probably see. Got four shroud, one clue. Top card encounter deck into Lee's deck. Come on, let's, let's do. Let's do one more. Let's do one more clue. Come on. Come on. Yay, Zodak Allen. Good old Zodak. Uh, he's at the Fifth Street Bridge, one clue. Contest three, if it's a C, take control of the clue, and then discard him. So he's at Fifth Street Bridge with Initiative Dagon. Don't know why he's not going to attack him, but that's just how the enemies work in this game. So, so far, according to our reference card, it's not going to be... Um, it's not going to be a theory... Zodak, Barnabas, or Robert. So it's only going to be either Joyce. Actually, I think it's only going to be Joyce. Athera, Barnabas. Oh, Brian. It's going to either be Brian Burnham or Joyce Little. So I've only got two there to narrow down. It's not going to be the house, the slums, Sawbone, or the jail. Jail, slums, Sawbone, or house. It's either going to be. Order of Dagon, New Church Green, Zodak Allen, and Joyce Little. Okay, oh, wrong, did it wrong then. Okay, so I think I'll do one more, and then I'm gonna make a, it's gonna make a wild guess, get us out of and done with. So, end of the round, place Doom on him. Be careful with that. So I draw a card first, get a resource. Um, Doom on there, so that actually advances now, because there's actually six Doom in play. Be careful of that. This advances. It reads, The town of itself grows more and more hostile with each day it passes. The townsfolk have caught onto your presence and perhaps even a reason for your visit. Shuffle a set aside wing one and not go enemy into the counter deck on the scar pile. If in the first scenario you decide to sit together in your memories, you can read this, but I haven't, so never mind. Agenda 2 reads, just how fully the pursuit was organised, and indeed, just what purpose it might be, I could have no idea. This is exactly the same as if one raise a threshold of 7. I will shuffle the set-aside enemies into the encounter deck. Like so, and the scar pile. Okay, now it's our turn, so... I'm gonna one more clue, and I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm gonna go for that. I'm just gonna. I can't do that. I'm gonna investigate here. Only two. So investigate here. Let's see what it has. We all the sign symbols first one so far. So plus two. Now if I'm investigating here, I can investigate somewhere else instead. So I might go here instead. It's such a high shroud value. I can go for that. Gain that. Okay, it doesn't say move, it's just investigate. It doesn't say move to there, so I guess I've got the clue from there. Okay, I'm going to spend the clue to do this. Oh. Haunting Shadow. So choose one, spend one clue, take two damage. I'll go out, take two damage. That sucks. Right, end of the round, i got to do that. So we're going to investigate again. <laughs> I'll decide again. <laughs> Uh, I'll just stay there, I think, and investigate. That's fine. We will spend this clue. Draw top card. Brian Burnham. So, narrow it down quite a lot now. So, in the National Grocery, with one clue. I can score cards to hand these total three skill icons and parlay to control the clue. Yeah, it's the usual stuff. So, he goes there. Put a clue on him. So, 
That's the end of the round. We're all good. Um, he should have a clue on him, sorry. Okay, so at the end of the round, I am going to... So I'm going to draw, let's draw the card first, get a resource. So we're drawn perception, gain a resource. I'm going to try to advance the act now at the end of the round. So I'm going to advance the act. So it reads, the time has come for you to reveal your hand. You've retraced age and half a step as best you can and learn a lot about Innsworth and its citizenry. Perhaps this information, you can narrow down where Harper is now, but if you aren't swift and decisive, the kidnapper will surely discover you are onto them. You've only one chance to get us right, one chance to locate Harper and surprise her kidnapper. If you're wrong, you've had to square one or worse. So read the accusation in the campaign guide. Let me have a little look here, so... Where are we? So it reads, we're going to make a, a guess now, so where it could be. So, reveal the suspect enemy in hat location, a face down release to find an Agent Harper card. In your campaign log, on possible suspects or hideouts, circle names the correct suspect enemy in that location. If they are wrong, we're on the wrong track and must immediately resign. So this is going to be bad. So let's see. So, okay, let's make a conversation. So it's not going to be, it's definitely going to be Joyce Little. It's just either going to be at the House of Dagon or New Church Green. So Joyce Little, I'm going to I'm going to choose House of Dagon. Let's go for that. So let's reveal and see. Joyce Little. Oh, it's the House of Dagon. We <laughs> got it right. I did the first time I played. I did fail. I failed miserably. <laughs> okay, so the match civilization be partially correct. They proceed. Believe anger the citizens of Innsmouth during their careless investigation. Flip over the fight agent half a reference card and spawn the enemy on its other side of Innsmouth Square. Oh, if only one match. That's good. But both cards match. So correct and mal proceed. Okay, so we don't do that. That's good. That's lucky. So set up the facts and agenda. Do the following. Advance the set aside to agenda 2. Yep, yeah, run agenda 2. Uh, so straight to agenda, agenda three. Straight to agenda. So that's agenda. That's agenda three. So it reads: My frantic run, running around ceased before I covered for a block. For left, for at my left, I began to hear something like the hue and cry of organized pursuit. Their footsteps and guttural sounds and a rattling motor wheeze south along Federal Street. So we're on the last agenda now, agenda three. Uh, this reads. Put the hideout location that's beneath filing Agent Harper into play as an additional clue to that location. So let's put where they're going to play. We'll probably move that the way. We'll put it up here. An additional clue on it. So that's three clues. Two clues, sorry. Spawn the suspect enemy that was beneath filing Agent Harper. At at Elena Hopper's location, if no revelation effects, the remainder of the scenario, this enemy is referred to as the kidnapper. So Joyce Little is the kidnapper. Have a clue on it, so ignore that effect. Remove the least deck from the game and proceed with the final act and agenda. Okie dokie. So let's have a look at the final act. What do we need to do on the final act? Let's see. So, Act 2A, the rescue. All your evidence leads here. You must rescue Agent Harper at all costs. The kidnapper loses aloof, gets plus one health, and cannot be parlayed with. If either the kidnapper is in the victory display, or there are no clues in the lane of location, advance. So, we've ever got it. Investigate all the clues here, or defeat the kidnapper. Now, she's got a lot of health. I don't fancy, like, having to deal with that much health, so we're going to just try and get there. So we're going to move to the square... We're going to spend two resources to move to the collecting location. Can't get otherwise. We're going to move to here. She engages. We're going to spend one of these just in case. So investigate zero more than enough. Gained a clue. Not only that, but also we can. Automatically evade her. <laughs> that's good. There we go. So that's our turn over. Oh, we've got extra action, haven't we? An extra action. Oh, we can go again. Can we go? Can we investigate again? Can we get just right? Plus one. Hey, last clue. I'm pretty sure that is how we do it. Yeah. 
If there are no clues to Lee Harvest's location, advance. Okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff on this. <laughs> Here we go. Agent Harper gives you a warm smile of relief as you untie her bindings and have her to her feet. I don't know who you are, but thank you. I did have things handled, though, for the record. She chuckles at her own joke. Despite her situation, the agent carries herself with the confidence of one who's been deadly circumstances before. You can introduce yourself and tell her you were hired to help find her. Well then, I'm very glad you're here. You came in the nick of time. Now, if you don't mind, I have some unfinished business with this associate of mine, she says, her voice sharp with indignation. Care to join me? So, depend on who it is, I've got to proceed to a certain revelation. So, it is Joyce Little's revelation number four. We grab the scenario book out. Revelation four will be the resolution. Revelation four reads Despite her situation, Joyce does not resist once you have restrained her. She seems resigned to her fate. Her gaze elsewhere as you question her. Believe me, if I had another method of getting you back off, I would have used it, says the Agent Harper. But you're getting too close, so I did what I had to be done. I don't understand. Too close to what exactly, Miss Little? Harper asks. There's a secret at the heart of this town. A secret that brings us wealth. A secret that brings us power. A secret that brings us, she pauses to find the right words, close to our destiny. What kind of secret is that? Harper probes. Joyce smirks and shakes her head. It makes you think I would ever share with you with outsiders. Because you're sort of a federal agent, if you don't tell me what I want to know, your destiny is going to be inside of a lonely prison cell. You watch as Miss Little's confidence shatters. She gulps down the last of her pride, and you sweat your sound on the forehead. It started with the order, she explains quietly. Each investigator earns experience equal to the virtue of the extra value of each card on the virtue display. We call this experience under unspent experience, the campaign log. We don't spend anything yet, we should spend this case at a later time. In the campaign log record, the mission was successful. So it's interlude to the Syzygies, I can't say that, Syzygies, I can never say that stupid name. Interlude to Syzygies, this reads, Light flashes in your mind, shadows drown your thoughts, as memory fades, you're lying once again on a rocky beach off the coast, your skull pounding in agony. Agent Harper leans over you with worry etched in her brow. Hey, are you finally awake? You sit up, your muscles aching, it looks like a tide rose several more inches while you're out. The cold water laps at your ankles and soaks into your shoes. What happened, she says. What did you see? Check your campaign log. If the mission failed, we received number two. If successful, number three. So we were successful. You tell Harper you remember your mission to find her in the interrogation of her kidnapper. She grins. Thanks again for that, by the way. I really did have things under control, though, she jokes. Remember anything after that? You shake your head. The last thing you remember is a mention of the organization called the Estratic Order of Dagon. She mutters a curse under her breath. That's unfortunate, but amnesia or not, at least I know I can trust you. Whatever you remember or not, you've come from me in the past. Anyone investigator may choose to add Elena Harper story asset to the deck, does not count to your deck size. Okay. And then after that, proceed to number three, In Too Deep, which is the next scenario and also a Sum 41 song, so there we go. We've also got the Agent Harper story asset, which is this card right here. So she costs four. She can be have these skill icons, you get plus one, willpower, pl plus one. So plus one intellect, plus one evade. The fifth action you perform each turn is not a focus of opportunity. So this is actually a really great asset to combine with Trish because she increases my already quite high stats of the uh, willpower and the evade. So that's going to be great help in the deck. So, and that's it for the second scenario playthrough of the It's Not Conspiracy box set. Uh, thanks for watching this so far. Look forward to Into Deep when it finally releases. If you have any questions or any comments on my playing, let me know. I'll happily take any criticisms, anything I did wrong, anything you should, would like to see, anything in the next story you want to see. Let me know down below how you think it's going to go, what, what the story's going to be like, the Order of Dagon, how it's going to break out, what's going to happen. Do you have any ideas what the story's going to be or where we're going to go from here? Because I don't really know yet so far. So. And that's it for this playthrough. If you leave a like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that loads and thanks for watching.